unboxing time. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got an unboxing for you today. The mailman just dropped off this month's six sack from Six Sense Fishing. We're gonna crack into this sucker right now, see what they've sent out for us this month. Now you guys have heard me go through this many, many times here on the channel, but I'm gonna say it again. Six Sense, the six sack is without a doubt, in my opinion, the best monthly base subscription service on the market, primarily because it is made up of heaters only exclusively from six cents hard bait soft plastics terminal tackle and fishing gear from six cents fishing only not a bunch of random mumbo jumbo that nobody's ever heard of overstock on sale items that they just need to get rid of it's always proven six cents fishing products and i always have a good time cracking in to the six sack with you guys right here on camera i've been a subscriber for a long long time and i've unboxed every single one of them right here on the channel and you guys already know you're interested in becoming a six sack subscription member yourself it's an exclusive membership with a limited number of spots available but if you're interested in checking out the six sack for yourself use my code jr six sack when you sign up it's going to knock ten dollars off the price of that first sack 50 plus dollar value in every sack but that jr six sack code is going to bring the price of that first sack down to like 27 28 bucks unbeatable deal especially for that first sack and they always set it off now i hear that this month's sack is another killer. So I'm excited to get off in here and see what they've got. They send out exclusive colors and exclusive baits before they drop that a lot of times the general public is unable to get their hands on even ever. I've got colors in the six sack before that I've never seen released after that. So it's a really cool way to build your tackle collection, get a look at some new colors and some new baits that you may not have thought of to try on your own. And it's always a good time doing these six sack unboxings with you guys. So we're gonna waste no more time. See so what we've got this month. It's my favorite color. The teal sack with the black letters. It's not, not knock the tackle wall down. How about that? Ooh wee. Let's see what we've got this month. I see some terminal tackle, some six cents spinnerbait trailer hooks. I wonder what we'll be needing these for. Set those down there. Oh, would you look at that? A Divine Spinnerbait. This is, ooh, one of my favorite colors. Quarter ounce, screw lock, hand tied skirt, the Divine Spinnerbait. This is that blue truce flash color. Super heater. Go ahead and tear this thing out of the package for the sake of the unboxing take a look at this thing up close and personal let me add it let me have it there it is it's a good looking spinnerbait right there nice mold on the head beautiful aqua paint on the top white on the chin you got that blue shad and chartreuse skirt screw lock bait keeper super sharp stout hook Willow leaf blades in gold and silver. I love it that they did the gold and the silver. I have a lot of confidence in gold blades, so I like that there's a little touch of gold flash on there. Quarter ounce. It's gonna be perfect for banging up shallow around the shad spawn. And I'm sure you guys probably know how to roll with a, a trailer hook. A lot of times when I'm fishing a spinnerbait, I don't run anything on the back of it. No trailer or anything, but I will especially if they're swiping at the blades and short striking it, run a trailer hook. Now, this is really simple. You see, it's got this little plastic boot over the eye of the hook. You're just gonna take the hook of your spinner bait, hook it straight through there. And there it is. Now you got that trailer hook on the back of there. If they swipe at it or short strike it, you got a little bit extra opportunity to get a hook in them. That's an excellent way to kick off this month's six sack. The Divine Spinnerbait with the six cents trailer hook. Good looking little spinnerbait right there. Setting it off in the six sack. What else do we got this month? Let's keep it rolling. First hard bait out of the sack, the Hyper Jerk 70. This is a sleeper. This is one that I feel like a lot of people don't fish, at least not enough. Going back to that shad spawn, a lot of times, when I'm out there throwing a fluke or a flush in the shad spawn, this little guy right here is another way to catch them. It's really fun, same type of action. It's just a hard plastic bait. It's got that feather on that back treble hook. Really nice color on that feather too. Black, silver, iridescent, some purple in there. The Hyper Jerk 70, 
fishes up slightly subsurface near the upper part of the water column. It's just a small minnow shaped hard bait with some unique action. Throw it out there on a 6.9 medium moderate, like the 6.9 medium moderate heater series would be my preference for this bait. Twitch that thing back, nice erratic action. For when they won't quite hit a popper or a top water and you're missing them on the fluke or the flush, like soft plastic jerk bait, this right here, that's a little gap filler. They won't hit the top water popper and you're missing them on the fluke or the flush, try throwing the Hyper Jerk 70. Super fun bait. And when they take a swing at this one, you already know the Hyper Jerk 70 is one that we don't talk about here a lot on the channel, but it's one that I have fished before and I've caught some fish on this thing, especially during the shad spawn, which is rounding up down here in the south, but still going on in other parts of the country. So don't sleep on that Hyper Jerk. Let's see what else we got going out this month in the six sack. We got some soft plastics, some plum fleck Ned Fries. This is one of my favorite colors, that plum fleck. The Ned Fry, of course, their version of the Senko, you know, stick bait. You can see that plum flex, just a beautiful dark, dark purple, pink color with black and blue flake, thick flake, heavy flake on this one. It's an excellent bait to wacky rig or just Texas rig and drag it around weightless. Love the Ned Fry. Have a lot of these in the boat, a lot of these on the tackle wall, but the plum fleck is a color that I didn't have many of. So I'm stoked to add this one to the collection. The six sack always lacing me up with new colors that I didn't already have. And I got a feeling we're gonna see another new color in this sack. We'll just keep rolling through here. Take a look, what else we got? A six pack of the Peg X, clear peg stoppers. Can never have enough of these. I have them all over the place, in my day box, in my terminal tackle box, in random compartments all over the boat. Always needing and using these things, can never have enough. And I believe that these are some of the highest quality peg stoppers on the market. Like they don't slide around all loosey goosey like a lot of peg stoppers. And that right there is a welcomed addition to the terminal tackle box because I'll be going through some peg stoppers, but let's keep it rolling. Let's see what else we got in this month's six sack. Another hard bait, one of my favorites. This is the Crush 50. This is the Jane Juice. Shout outs to Baxter the Bait Man. This one right here is the silent version of the Crush 50, so no rattles in this one. As you can see, that Jane Juice is like a light faded chartreuse and a light lavender on the back with a white belly and a red eye, but hush mode, no rattles in that Crush 50 right there. The Crush 50S square bill from Sixth Sense Fishing, one of my absolute favorite baits to throw. And when you can't get bit on the rattles, a lot of times a sleeper silent mode square bill can really trigger them just like off their visual hunting instinct alone. They just chase these things down and mow them down when they're like a little bit finicky, a little bit timid, and they don't want something that's making a ton of noise. Always have silent square bills as an option with you. I'm telling you, if you haven't thrown them, try it. You may be pleasantly surprised because they get the job done. And a lot of times the hush mode can be the move, but that Jane Juice Crush 50, super fire. This is a bait that I actually do have several of. I always keep this one on deck in this style, in this color. Jane Juice, super fire. They killed it on the Jane Juice, man. And the Crush 50 is just a staple here on the channel. It's something that I always have at the ready. I actually have one tied on right now. I've been catching fish on it. I'm gonna be bringing that video to you guys soon, so make sure you stick around, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to all the new people here. I've been seeing a lot of you guys show up lately, and I'm here for it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for riding with me, supporting the channel. We still got one bait off in this month's six sack. And I think this one right here might be the super heat. Let's check it out. Check this out, dude. Look at this, a new Vega frog color. It says right here on the back. What did we talk about earlier? Exclusive baits, exclusive colors that the general public does not have access to. This is stuff that only six sack subscription holders can get. And this right here, is a smoke show of a color. Don't worry, I'm gonna take it out of the box. For sure, we're gonna unbox this thing all the way and have a look. So it's like, you know, got that Bengal tiger look to it. Yellows, browns, ambers with the black accents all over it. But then as you can see on the back there, it's got these two super bright racing stripes. It's gonna help you as an angler track this thing a little bit better through the water, keep 
keep your eyes on that frog, but also when that thing's sitting down into the water and you just pause it and stop it, just a little bit of extra color, you know, a little bit of extra attention getter on there. But I really like the look of this frog. Nice soft body Vega frog, super stout frog hooks. I always trim my legs up on the Vega frog to a, down to eh, about right there, you know, maybe a, a quarter to a half inch. That helps out with that action just a little bit and can eliminate some short strikes. But that right there is the Mud Frog exclusive Vega Frog color going out in this month's six sack. Stoked on that. Definitely a bait that I did not already have, but I'm looking forward to hopefully catching a fish on it. I'm not the best frog fisherman. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I've never caught a fish on a Vega Frog. I've had a couple blow ups on some bodies of water where I did have an opportunity, but never been able to connect with a frog fish. I just am not too good at utilizing the frogs, but that right there is a super heater of a Vega frog that I will definitely be making my very best attempt to catch a fish on. I like the feel of the body on this one. It feels like, I don't know if that's been upgraded or what, but anyways, those hooks are super sharp. Excited for the exclusive mud frog, Vega frog. I think that's what it said, mud frog. I done threw everything. Where did everything go? Yeah, that's what it is. Mud Frog. The Mud Frog exclusive in this month's six sack. Let's recap really quickly. I know this is a little bit of a shorter video, but hey, we're just rolling with it. Had to get this unboxing knocked out because we haven't missed one yet. And we are not gonna start now. Crush 50 in the Jank Juice silent mode. Got the Plum Fleck Ned Fries. Got the Peg X Stoppers. The bundle pack, six packs of those suckers, lifetime supply. Especially if you don't go Texas rigging or pitching or flipping much, that right there will last you a long time. We got that Hyper Jerk 70. That's the Shad Burst color. I don't think I said that earlier, but I really like the look of the feather. And then of course we got the trailer hooks and the Divine Spinner Bait. Quarter ounce, blue truce flash with the silver and the gold. Silver and gold. This month's sack was a straight heater of a smoke show sack stoked on the new freaking vega frog color that's definitely my favorite bait to come out of this bundle you guys let me know which was your favorite check out the six sack six sensefishing.com jr six sack when you sign up save ten dollars off the price of that first sack but maybe you're not the type of fisherman maybe you're not the type of angler who's gonna let another man pick out your baits and you just want to fill your cart and shop and have total control, that's okay. Check out sixcentsfishing.com, use my code JR10 at checkout to save 10% off everything on the website. That is the number one way that you guys can support the channel. If you enjoy my content and you're looking to pick up some heaters for yourself, please consider using my code. It goes a long way towards helping us continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. Speaking of helping us continue to make content, could not do this without the almighty heater army. You guys check out the top link down below in the video description. I would love it if we could get a hundred people in the heater army. We've been teetering back and forth between like 85 to 90 people in the heater army for a while now. And I would love nothing more than for us to reach and surpass that 100 heater army member number. We're gonna do heaters only, live streams that are exclusive to heater army members, special badges, emojis, priority responses to comments, and raw and unseat uncut footage that nobody else ever gets to see unless they're in the heater army. Top link down below in the video description if you wanna learn more about that. But even if you don't use the JR6 sack, the JR10, if you don't join the heater army, best believe I appreciate anyone who takes time out of their day to watch these videos. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one.